Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? You know, I was thinking about starting with the main menu, but I forgot that this game has an intro. Uh, an interesting intro, at least. It has an intro. So let's enjoy the intro, okay? And classic message, classic message. That, that's, you don't see that often. Yeah, it's uh, more three. We like the number three. Oh, damn. This, I don't even know if this copyright claim, I guess. I mean, not, not like I care, but, you know. I mean, I just... I have like a thousand copyright strikes after GTA 3. I really don't care anymore. What is going on? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing number three. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing great too. I hope you are having a wonderful time. I, I completely forgot that this is the intro of the game. <laughs> Yeah, nice rock with flesh monster in a face. <laughs> That's a game over screen. <laughs> That's a game over screen on the intro. They have some weird game overs. I don't know if it's just me, but this intro doesn't feel like selling hit like. I like it. It's a cool intro. I don't know. I guess compared to the other one. I don't even remember if you guys selling hit have intros. I guess they do. But they don't have this. <laughs> this song. Song like this. Incredible banger. That it, it feels it has nothing to do with the game. It's a good song. Right? I mean, selling kill for intro is a Spanish guitar, so that's, that's whatever. Well, there's no intro. There's an actual intro in selling kill for. Which, for the most part, is just ambient noises and weird sounds. Spanish guitar is on the main menu. Oh shit, it's Silent Hill 3! What are the options? Can we put green, green blood? Noise effect. What? Blood color. Yes. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Silent Hill 3. Cool game. We hate it. No, we don't. It, that's, this is not Silent Hill 4, okay? I'm, yeah, I'm kidding. But <laughs> um, this game is scary. Well, that's what they say. I mean, I don't know. I still say this: the Silent Hill game that scared me the most was four. It's a kid. I was a little bit more. Um, I mean, a few years have passed between four and three because I got Silent Hill four, and then my brother got the Silent Hill collection that includes two, three, and four, and that was years later. So I wasn't that wasn't that much of a kid, but still, this game has some creepy aura. This game has some no 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 more intros. It's really nice, but not again. This game has some really cool moments and creepy things. I mean, then again, it's Silent Hill. 
we will never forget the mirror moment. And that's the thing I remember the most. The, the mirror moment is mirror moment was nice. Also, action level hard, real level. This is insanity. I guess I will talk about the riddle level on hard mode later, but this game doesn't fuck around if you put riddle level hard. This game comes after you. Let's go normal. And if I get the stack, I will use a guide. Because I'm a bitch. But. <laughs> yeah, we see it. In my restless dreams. Oh no, wait, that's not Silent Hill 2, that's Silent Hill 1. The restless dreams? Oh my god. Welcome to the scariest level in any video game, a theme park. There's nothing more horrifying than a theme park. It's really interesting the turn of events Silent Hill got because you play Silent Hill 1 and it's dad in Silent Hill looking for daughter. Then you play Silent Hill 2 and it's man looking for wife in Silent Hill. And then you play Silent Hill 3 and it's girl looking for dad in not Silent Hill. Yes, I beat the game, don't worry. I'm gonna say something already that I guess I mean, people will hate me whatever I say. I always thought that Heather looks weird. I don't know, I don't know what it is or how, but let me check if there are subtitles or something. Language, English, subtitles, yes, English. Acceso. Korean. Nihongo. Hell yeah. English, yes, with subtitles. I don't know what it is or what, but I always thought that Heather looks weird. At least the face, and I don't know. There's something about cool status screen. I've got tank controls, even with the joystick. Wait, didn't this game have like full 360 control? On Spanish? No. Why? You want the subtitles? Or you want the vibración? No, no vibración. Vi blando, <laughs> blando. <laughs> What's in there? Like a 360 way of move? Control type, 3D type. Uh, 2D. I want like move with the joystick. Really. Yes. Epic video game has started. It's Jane Rabbit costume. Why could this be here? <laughs> yeah, it's um I always thought that the head looks weird. I don't even know why. Oh yeah, I guess we, I guess you need to remove uh tank controls in some places. Because this is not like, for example, Resident Evil Outbreak, that if you change camera angle and you, hold, you are holding the joystick, the character, the character still moves. Oh wait, you can, can you, this is hard, you can die. No, there's a way to die. That's part of the challenge in this game, you can, you can fall off cliffs. <laughs> And that's it. Oh wait, I broke the entire sequence. I thought you only... Oh shit, I messed up. You are supposed to go forward and die on the roller coaster. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I just skipped the dream sequence by accident. I mean, not by accident, but... Well... That's that saved times, I guess. I mean, <laughs> what a 
nightmare. And it's interesting because if you die hard, you're supposed to die. You have an idea what is happening later. This man is breaking the game. Yes. Yes, I'm doing it. I don't care. Okay, who who likes the the heal that are, that are silent? Happy Burger. I tried to put the Konami code, but for, for what I've read, you need to beat the game first. Because there is a silly Konami code. Dad, it's me. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's talking to dad. Okay, I will. I love you too, dad. Your head has dad? No way. That's like a brand new thing in Silent Hill. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. Detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Nice. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. <sighs> My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. Ooh. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Does somebody die? Um Halfway through the game. Halfway through the game you have you have a kill. Following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Sorry, dude, it's called silent heal, no silent kill. I think, I mean, I mean, I, I guess no, this game is so long, just a shit. I think only like three characters die in the entire game. And I think you get four in the bad ending. The duendes are... Uh... Oh, this is lore, by the way. Also, we have a, a big duende coming soon. You have interesting creature coming up. This game goes straight to the action. Look at the posture of this attack, of this stance. <laughs> that weird old detective is out there, so I'm not leaving. You have a stealth mode. Oh my god. I don't have all this area. I think it's the silent mode. Out of the PS, PS2 Silent Hill games, I think this is the one I played the, the least. I played more 2 and for a lot because I think I only beat like this one like twice just a lucky charm is my front door key nice can I grab the knife can I use knife I mean knife is worthless okay whatever but don't worry evil demons that Predate on human imagination will appear soon. The road is blocked with empty boxes and stuff I can't get to. Yeah, Silent Hill 3, can you believe this? You know what the problem with games like Silent Hill, I'll say? It's hard to play them blind again. I'll say Silent Hill games sign when you have no idea what is happening. Cool stamina. And you can say the same for every single game. Oh yeah, we play in hard mode. You, we have walls now. I think only in hard mode you do... You go too fast and you just...
the animation where she has like the wall splat that's only on hard mode and i think falling through cliffs is also hard mode yeah hey, i could also link kill as i always say all the time you have no idea what experience it was for me to play selling kill 2 blind and by play i mean my older brother watch as always <laughs> so, if it's an old game and i say i played it it means my brother beat the game like more than four times I knew every everything and then I tackled the game on my own. Oh shit. Oh my god. Who shit on the floor? Can you hear the funny noises? I think you can now. The game is kind of low for you. Ugh. Cool noise. Silent Hill is like top quality of weird noises. And there you whisper run a demon. A parasito. La criatura. So I'm gonna say something real quick. I don't even know what's the point of playing this game on hard. It makes everything a little bit more annoying, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I use diplomacy with this thing. He can shoot gun. This is why I love horror games for shit like this. So Hayley, technically right now she's like some girl and that's it. No problem, just your, your average teen girl, I guess. She gets locked in the mall, she fights, she founds a demon. She just shoot blast it with a gun and now she's just there. It's definitely not human. I've never heard of such an animal. And no way is it a custom. It sounds crazy when you say it, but monster is the only way word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. It's a, a, a monster. I killed it. And that's it. And I see just look at her. <laughs> You're just standing there. <laughs> and this is in every single horror game. It's like Silent Hill 2. You find this weird demon. James just gets scared. He grabs the plank. You beat the shit out of the monster with the plan, and he's like, Well, so there's that. Where's my wife? <laughs> I can tell from here that it's dead. So they call the police. Not like they'd believe me if I said someone's being killed by a monster. That's every single horror game. Like possibly the only horror game where you can actually tell your character feels terrified for gameplay that I can think right now. It's something like. Hunting ground, maybe. And the only thing we rem we talk about that game is because my god. But how many bullets do I got? I, I guess just ten. Your head. Are do they look human to you? Do they look like monsters to you? What if Silent Hill is fake? What if Silent Hill is not real? I'm out. You see, I know you fight dogs. Demon dogs. And Hell is like, eh, whatever. What is this? Oh, you need some map. As I said, since I barely played this game that much. Uh... There's gonna be a lot of, I forgot where to go, or how do I do this puzzle. 
I pushed the button, but the elevator won't come. She broke her something. We need more horror games when the plot twist is the monsters were in your head. Something like uh, Cry of Fear. The monsters were in your head. Oh shit. That's gonna kill me a few times. No. Help. Ow. We're fine. Oh, then back here. Insane. Still dead. <laughs> yeah, good old uh, thingy. Also, you have the cool, the cool thing of Sunny Hill that I always get lost. I always get lost and I need map. Even if it's a Silent Hill game I played a lot, like 4, sometimes I need the map. Like right now, where, like, what do I go now? Ow! Wait! Epic. Where's the way? You see, we just started and I'm lost already. Isn't that awesome? Okay, okay, the stairs, never mind. We have stairs. We have stairs that I refuse to take. Ah. These clearly are not the stairs. Well, there's a thing between the game, you feeling lost in the game, and the other thing is refusing to, <laughs> to go to the places you can go. Oh shit! Oh, the thing is fast. Oh yeah, mechanic in this game. Uh, you can feed beef jerky to the dogs. And you kind of stun them. Because they are eating nourishment. The thing is not kidding. Sick gameplay. Sick fighting system. for nothing I just like in every single Silent Hill game you must stomp, stomp, stomp enemy and in this one you can do it a lot for I don't even know why I think also that beef jerky that you you can stand those with that I think stepping out of enemies gives you a, a, a raid or something I think there was uh, there is at least two endings as far as, well, there are three as far as I remember. Good, bad, UFO. I think that gives you points towards the bad ending. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. It's been a while. As I said, it's not the Silent Hill I played the most. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know what it, I would put this game on the list when it comes to the four games. I don't know if I like one or three more, but clearly right now top, top two is four and two. Oh, hello, Don. Hello, Min. Hey there, everybody. This is Heather from the silent. From, from the silence. Okay, everybody's here, I guess. 
Ich war dies ja. Hello. What is up? Oh yeah, another thing, this game gets better if you play the first one first. But don't worry about that. We play uh, on the opposite order. We play 4, 3, 2, 1, and then Origins. Which Origins also is technically a prequel of 1 and, two, and 3, technically. Okay, don't worry. I will restart the stream just for you. You missed the cool intro, dude. How can you be a Silent Hill fan if you skip Silent Hill 3 intro? I don't worry, just, you know. We run, we talk, and then we find La Criatura. La Criatura. Oh, shit. El parasito de El A part of me wants to restart and go normal mode, because for what I remember, this game on hard mode is... It's slightly annoying sometimes. But but maybe I'm wrong because it's been a really long time. I mean, it's just that the enemies have more health and they do more damage, and that's it. Fighting is. crispy toasted bread right to your very door. Fighting is just. Uh, it's, it's nothing. It's bread. Holy shit, it's bread. Oh my god. But I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. Is that a donut? Look at that donut. They have donuts in here. And she's not hungry. Tongs. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we have a good item. Oh, shit. You found enemy. I also get just, just a disclaimer, I'm barely gonna shoot things. Because I'm a pussy. I'm a pacifist, I run away from dangerous creatures. Mostly because the combat sucks. <laughs> Save ammo, it's not saving ammo, it's just the combat is awful. <laughs> I mean, it's not awful, this game also has, this game has movement. Wait, this game has, dude, this game has Soul Calibur thing. Check it. Because you can block. You can block. And I think you have like a special move. Okay. You got your vertical, you got your beast, and then you have your ace. I guess that's how you fight. I guess that's how you do it. You can block. I think only in this game you can block. So that means you can fight things and defend yourself. And not be a dumbass like me and just spam the A attack. Cool. First puzzle solved. You're welcome. He taken with tongues. Okay, let's give this thing item a proper name. Mr. Bestsellers. Oh, it's just still like you taking with tongs. Cool name. Oh shit, criatura. Oh my god. Cool, uh, dude. These three movements are going to kill me. I mean, if the monster doesn't don't kill me first. As I said, this is not like outbreak, or Resident Evil outbreak, or something like that. Like when you cam the camera angle changes. Your character still moves where the joystick was going. In this one, you don't. Head of change direction. Unless I do something wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the joystick wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, boys, and here come the first kick in the balls if you play on. Riddle difficulty hard. 
which I, I don't know all the differences in difficulty, but this is the, the most infamous one. I only know two on hard mode. All of them. Can I read? Fair is foul and foul is fair. Put these books out of order. Okay, nice uh, tip for the riddle. So I think in, in this difficulty it's a... Um, it's a whatever thing. It's just you, you have the number on the... On the books already. It's in hard mode because in hard mode you have like a note and you need to know about... You need to know about Shakespeare. You see, you see the number? That's the whole deal. You must know Shakespeare because it's like, oh, this, this and this, this and that. That's just insane. No. Three, two. Three, two. Nine, six. Okay. I don't know the difference of the difficulty. I only know this one because this is like way really, really infamous. Hey, you. you are forced to know Shakespeare. You are forced to know everything. And in the hospital, there was also another. Oh, shit. Another human. Um, hey, wait. What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Look at Heather's mouth. Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me. Your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? Yes, it's all a prank. It's an over elaborated prank. The hand of God, it was God's hand! Epic cutscene with this epic video game. <laughs> yeah, the other pass I was talking about if you play on riddle level hard. It was in the hospital. There was like a poem. And I think it was talking about Heather's face or something. And depending the body part it's talking, it's a number. Like. I think at some point it talks about an eye. That means like number nine or three or something like that. That's weird. That's a weird puzzle. Besides those two, the Shakespeare and the, the hospital, I know nothing. I'm not smart enough to play on reader level hard. He'll get silent. You know it, man. You know it, man. That's how you play the game. Then when the hills are silent, a ravey, what the hell is this doing falling down from the ceiling? I, I do so. Every day I play a silent hill, one, two, or three. I do something that pretty soon will piss some people off. I like to play without the radio. I don't like the radio.
spawn when you look at the goblin mode. Yeah. The game becomes nothing. <laughs> the move is broken in every single way. I mean, you are not forced to use it, but Dra Dragon Style doesn't feel that great, honestly. There's something about the Dragon Style in Kiwami that is just... I don't know, it just doesn't feel that great. It's fine, but it's, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I like Brawler more. And Brawler is, Brawler is like a fake dragon. You can always choose to not use the uh, Tiger Drop, as always. I like it because when I get punched in face, I head bad. This is also the thing, part of the charm of Yakuza Zero was you can switch a style and every style fits in a situation. Dragon style feels like it's... It feels like a bed... You don't need Brawler and Rush anymore if you have full dragon. Because Beast, you can always grab a bike and win instantly. Ow! Wait, do I have healing? Supplies. One health drink. That dog from hell just devoured my leg. Let me drink some Pepsi. And people like it more only because you can do quick switch between, you know, heavy attacks, throws when you get hit, when you don't. But they nerf some things. I was I supposed to read this? I can see nothing because I'm just happy with Brawler. Are you enjoying the game or you hate it? <laughs> There's no more thugs though. Thug style. You don't like Thug? <laughs> and it's not even a good counter. It's not even that good of a counter. At least with a heavy attack you can knock someone off, but... Yeah. Ooh. You know, with all Kiwami. I'm only in this game is banned. Okay, that's fine. That's your average Kiwami experience, by the way. I think I'm dead. Never mind. That's the average Kiwami player. You just take it up everything and you don't give a shit. It sounds good and feels good too. But Amon in Kiwami is kind of disgusting. Like phase 2 is bad. He hits you for more than half of your health. Hey. Like 3 hits and you're like almost dead on the second phase. So that's not what they call fun. And it's a knife, so you, you, you can block that properly. <laughs> Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lags, it will be obvious if they are not switched off. It's on right now. Oh my god, watch the darkness take over my body. It's like a simple play. <laughs> That's the quality of Kiwami. That's the good quality of the game. Wow, this man hates Kiwami. You know what I? Do you know what I hate? Not doing this. Is someone actually in there? What did I get? Bleach. Bleach. Oh my god. Goated by Nemesis. 
Forgotten by Nemesis, which I don't know if I ever talk about this story at some point. Ricky Wamichu would be better. People hate Kiwamichu even more. <laughs> People hate Kiwamichu even more. <laughs> uh, you talk about the, the, the Tiger Drop. Um, Tiger Drop in every single Dragon Engine game is not that good, I think. Yeah, so you can you can just play both. Original two is a is an upgraded version of original one. It's an upgrade. Ow. That it feels better in every single way. Uh, Kiwami two is Dragon Engine, with that's you like it or you hate it, depending on the guy. When it comes to original, it is. When it comes to original, Kiwami, as I said, it's. Kiwami. So you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Ow. I got knocked down by the dog. It is scary. <laughs> yeah. Why you don't like the frame drop the frame dropping? Or you do like the hunger? Nice. Oh shit, wait, what? I mean, I don't even know for how much you can get Kiwami 2 if you really want to play it. No, I didn't tell you. Yeah. Brand new in the Silent Hill franchise, you get a hunger. A wild code hunger I got at the, bo at the boutique. Com combined with the radio. So the last time, you see. Uh, I guess Kiwamichu for four dollars. It's a good deal in my opinion. I mean, Kiwamichu is one of my favorites on the Yakuza. Oh yeah, but you also have the problem of um, who did that. You have the problem of uh, not so good PC. I mean, you can try to get it, and maybe you can run it even poorly, but runs properly, maybe. That's up to you. But Kiwamichu is one of my favorite Yakuza games. It's just fun. It's just, you, you, there's so many things. You have the ragdolls, you have the, the things to do. I love the fighting. I just love the game. Meant a lot. As I said many times, if I ever do a rerun of another Yakuza, it will be like Kiwamichu or Judgment or even Kuro Hill. And that means nothing because most likely in June I will 100% Yakuza 6. So that means nothing. But, but yeah, I recommend. But then again, maybe you hate the Dragon Engine fighting. But that's a normal thing. That's a normal statement in the community. Which I disagree because I love it. You might. Every Yakuza game is fun, yeah. Yakuza 7 is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And Infinite Wealth, even though... I have a little bit of issues with the game, it's still really, really good. I recommend. What's it? They feel very unique. In their own way. In, in a fantastic way. And I love them. Like Jagusa 7. You know, Jagusa like a dragon, it's called. It's really, 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 really good. Really good. It's top 3 for me. Of RPGs I love. It's just great with everything. The characters, the fighting. The story. The music. I mean, I guess you see Judgment, but Judgment is very different. Let's see, wait, boo. Doing Sukina again, yeah. What, you don't like rock, paper, scissors? You don't like rock, paper, scissors? No way, you're, you're kidding. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, but if you lose, you get suplexed. I mean, if you did Mesukin and the Pocket Circuit, you pretty much done all the grindy things. And you got the Dragon Style max level, so you got everything grindy, it's over for you. Mm. 
Why will something like this be here? This isn't an osp hospital. <gasps> Are you sure about that? Hey, wanna see something cool? Wanna see something cool? Dari! New work games like selling heal, yes. I can't see anything and hear anything. I hear daddy and I saw a girl. That's selling heal one. I mean they are games like selling heal, yes. Are they uh are they all of them indie games? Yes, they are. <laughs> selling heal indie game? Like a selling heal like for an indie game? Yes, you have them everywhere. An actual triple A horror game? It does a rare at this point. There has to be. It's just uh, I I mean you have the Silent Hill uh I cannot see. I, I cannot see because there's nothing, it's oblivion. Um uh, actual triple A horror game are kind of rare these days. They exist, it's just I can't think of none right now. As I was gonna say Dead Space remake. But that's like a remake of a really really classic horror game. And then you have Resident Evil 4, which technically is an action game for me. It has horror elements, but that's mostly a action game. But something like Silent Hill with this aura of a... Let's say a nerving aura. Weird things happening, just insanity overall. Oh, there are too many of them. Oh, there are four of them in here. There are four of them. Uh, I can't think of nothing. Oh god. To gimmick you or the art style doesn't change. <laughs> to give it in the horror game, to gimmick you or the art style. You forgot the third topic. Jump scare make. <laughs> ah, there are some good horror games. I like the Chillas art games. But I guess that maybe can enter the category of you don't like the art style. The art is cool, it's like a um, Japanese horror game, horror thing. But for the most part, you just work and interact with things. You don't run around, you don't run around and shoot, like Silent Hill. Then again, it's Silent Hill, I'm gonna be honest with you. The only fighting I somewhat enjoy in Silent Hill is 4, and it still is terrible. And you can have music with iframes. And pixel graphics. <laughs> Boys, best item in the franchise right here. The walnut. Where is PT? Nah, we hate PT. We hated PT. You know what we like? Silent Hill Ascension. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait, you have Silent Hill The Last Message. Wait, that's... um. There was a DVD-like. <laughs> I mean, not DVD-like. It's just... You just run away from a chaser. And it's like a, the story about... It's pretty much a horror story about suicide or something like that. Which, as far as I know, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. Another uh, Silent Hill 2 remake coming up. And that title that got released, it looks a little bit rough. It's like, oh. Whoa. But you're right, I'm thinking like AAA horror games for a big company. I can't think of nothing right now. Besides Capcom, and I wouldn't even call. I don't, I don't even call the new Resident Evil games horror. Oh my god. Oh shit. Any more. I mean, you got Freddy. I guess the Freddy games count. Yeah. Silent Breath. What is even is Silent Breath?
It is the cutscene. I can't, I cannot go in. We can fight block. Ah, you can see the same of every single Resident Evil game. You can see the same of all of them. The thing is, I'm gonna say that the horror genre... I'm past the simulator here pretty much. <laughs> Do you remember? I mean, I don't know if you were here when Hunting Ground happened. Do you know how much fighting is in that game? Dog. You have dog style. You summon your dog and bite the guy. Everything else is you walking around, doing puzzles and hiding. That's it. There's nothing else to the game. What they wanted to say is the horror genre has been... has evolved in so many times that... What even is horror games anymore? There are so many people doing indie horror games and all of them are somewhat the same. Some of them are good. Some of them are just, as I said, a jump skill galore, jump skill, whatever. <laughs> what, you, you don't like Freddy? You don't like Baldi? You don't like Baldi, te Baldi teaching math? What is this, a barbecue dog? Who the heck would make something like this? Who the hell will eat it? Cooked key. Who the hell is sick enough to do something like this, that is? It's just a roasted dog anyway, so it can keep me out. Everyone is doing the horror games these days, at least indie horror games. Do you think big companies have stopped doing horror games because they weren't giving that much money? I mean, we got a brand new horror game, AAA, super cool, called Callisto Protocol. That game was weak. <laughs> that game was weak. That's the only one I can think about of modern day horror game, made by a big company. Okay, where do I use cook key? Where did this good key go? Oh shit, I don't know. Hey, which, what's the point of doing horror games when you can just Fortnite? Nah. We don't need Fortnite. No, that's a true horror game. Microtransactions. Psychological shit. One more. <laughs> One man army. <laughs> I mean, there are some really good indie horror games. I guess Funger counts as a horror game, right? Funger is good for, for horror. And I also guess Omori counts as a psychological horror game. I mean, never forget, the first ever jumpscare in this channel was... Omori. Well, technically the second one, the first one was Nisiki on Redemption. Mm. Yeah. I think I barely have indie horror games. I mean, in horror games, as I said, I'm, 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 I talk about this many times. A part of me was to get every single Chilas Heart game. And like every Sunday we played. Or something like that. Even the, the early day ones. I'm giving visual novels a try. Is this a visual novel? I mean, it technically is because if you fight, you're just gonna suffer because fighting in this game is. Not that great. And I know about Valhalla. I mean, I, have, I think I haven't seen gameplay. Best weapon obtained. With this weapon, we shall kill God. I think it's like you're in a bar and you're talking with people. 
And it's cool because the... I, mean, I guess... I guess visual novels are nice because when we played Hazy Mind, we got, we got a really cool day. With really with a lot of sillies, a lot of shenanigans. Yeah. There are god girls for Valhalla. Okay, now that's a that's a horror game for me. Now that's a true horror game. I don't know, then I think you're in a bar and you talk to people. Oh my god, I hate these enemies. I hate the noise they make. I forgot about them. I hate them so much. There is also, a, I mean, I don't know if this counts as a visual novel. I always got interest in Papers, Please. But I think that's not a visual novel. That's just more of a sit down and make sure Boris is Boris, another terrorist. I think it is, right? It was something like that. Okay, boys, after everything in Crusade, we start Visual Novel Galore <laughs> next year. <laughs> what is better, Visual Novel Galore or Doxy, Monthly Doxy game? Simulator time, simulation. I think I need a bucket, please. Boys, don't do it. Bleach and the detergent, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't even know when it comes to visual novels. What did we just play Phoenix Ride? <sighs> it's creepy and dangerous to boot. What did we just play some? Oh oh, don't do this. Bleach and the Dead is really dangerous. In the first ever job I got, there was a guy that cleaned things like that. Monster cat, pretty much. Just to make some homemade insecticide. <laughs> yeah, Heather is different. I don't want. I don't particularly want to die. Better stay out of that hallway. The bent fan's not running, so there's probably still poison in there. No, she's fine. She ran away. She ran away. But the first ever job I got, there was a guy cleaning things like that, bleach and the gym. How's it going? We just made mustard gas. I try to remember the guy. Don't smell this. They put in a lot of bleach and detergent. Like, don't smell this. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. I call him the cocamaniac because he actually did cocaine. <laughs> Let's say that after every break, he seemed happier than, than the. <laughs> what the fucking asshole! I watch a funny clip. Do you think this game is time for funnies? This is horror game. We are supposed to shit ourselves. Look at how scared this is. I forgot to mention the Nemesis joke. Be, I don't even know if I even talked about it. I think I did. But with that toilet, toilet full of blood. Oh god. No. That difficult drug like have you heard a spell on kitsu <laughs> I think I'm I'm not your roguelike guy. The most roguelikes I play in my life is Spell on Kitsu of course and Binding of Isaac. Oh yeah Darkest Dungeon Oh <laughs> I guess Darkest Dungeon but I mean you like RPGs or you're in the mood of RPGs that's up to you. I love Darkest Daniel. I, that's the one I played the most, actually. But 
Voy a meter este room. Completely breaks me. Darkest Dungeon. I mean, if you like RPGs or you want to get into an RPG, turn based RPG, Darkest Dungeon. Absolutely. You want to be broken, Darkest Dungeon. There is some, listen, that's a game that when you boop the game up, when you start it, the game says, this and that, blah, blah, you are going to lose. Be ready for that. Every time I, I try to beat the game, at some point I get soft lock. You get RPGs. Okay, don't play Darkest Dungeon then. Then don't don't play Darkest Dungeon. Ooh. I'll check it later. Let me just enjoy it. Let's, let's try to beat the the shop. But sorry, dude. When it comes to giving recommend games, I'm dog shit. Yeah, dude, I love I love RPGs. Okay, which one do you recommend? Nothing. Play, play for our fantasy. Oh yeah, you're very original, asshole. Play very really default. Oh yeah, I don't have a 3DS. You can't even buy one, at least officially. I like, I love Darkest Dungeon. I really, really like Darkest Dungeon. I never beat the game because, as I said, that game is deadly. The last time I tried to beat the game, I lost so many guys, I was somewhat soft lock. And the best thing to do was kick almost everyone out. And start somewhat a new game. It's unlocked, thank you. Oh, what the fuck? You know what I would roguelike? Pat upon. Oi! I might get maybe pat up on counts, maybe. Yeah, that's nothing about roguelike. What's happening? I found the other day something like top 10 or something hardest games on PSP. And it's funny because by the guy, number one was Pat Upon One. <laughs> uh, we just did a Walnut. Which I don't remember where the Walnut is broken. I mean, you, you know who you're talking to, right? When it comes to the people game. Rethink game, die. Use a guy, yeah. When you have a strategy guide, which is it's something I got. <laughs> it's something I got when I play it. Because for some reason, they thought it was a good idea to give this silly rethink game a lot of secrets, and many of them are important. For some, you see, for some things. It like if I tell you this game is easy if you use a guide for some puzzles. There are some moments in this game that can be deadly. And if you kill everything, you maybe you might be low on ammo. I, I, I don't know how stingy this game is with ammo, I don't remember. Yeah, it's different. Go away, dog. This is the magic of Father Bond, it's just, hey, hey man, you want something cool? Go to this place and retry this game. Yeah. Why do you even break the walnut? I think I remember what it is. Pretty sure you don't even need all the divine weapons. Yeah, I guess that's another point. The blacksmith is something. Glad you do. Yeah, we're not talking about platinum. We're talking about 
de most caso los playthroughs. Uh, what was the world of destruction? Am I missing something? Shit. The most casual of casual runs. Okay, tough guy, let's see you at empath upon three. Let's see you at empath upon three. Let's see how you do how good are you at it. But I want you to see this here. I mean, not because I'm, I was playing on easy mode. It's easier because if, if you had the hero point alive, the game is whatever. At least how it felt, even on easy mode, because I'm a bitch. Hero point is alive, you win. And you have good levels and good stats, of course, and good things. But he's game breaking. I'm well, not game breaking, but he's game changing, maybe. It's a better word. Oh shit. Yeah, here you can do it. Oh shit. Oh hell dicey. You got Sonic front you so you got Sonic's Frontier? Oh shit dude. There was a cool song in there that I forgot. This man wants to pay for Patapom 3. Oh. There is DLC for most for Sonic? What? But is there Arathalos Armors for Sonic? And the them all. I I remember listening to the soundtrack, but I don't remember it properly. I mean, I enjoy Sonic Frontiers. I mean, as far as you know, it's a game that overall got everyone happy. And that's nice. It's like when the Sonic fans get happy. Because those poor souls sometimes is just. Every new game is like. Your worst nightmare or a really, really fun game. Those poor devils. Mmm, cool enemy. What if I just play the bad Sonic games? What if I just play Dark Brotherhood? Oh yeah, the Sonic collab in Rise. Keanu Reeves is gonna be sad. I read things like that. that Keanu Reeves is going to be sad though. Dude, you have Sado, you have Sonic Boom. You have Sonic 06. You have Sonic the Dark Brotherhood. So I'm getting excited. That'd be awesome. Keanu! Where is the walnut? This is where the walnut used to be. <laughs> I mean, I watch Sonic 1 and 2, they're fun. They are cool. You know what the coolest part? Jim Carrey. Oh, shit! Oh, see, this, this... Help! So where did you break the walnut? I got something. I got some shit. Come on, Lily. Lily. This man is playing Lily. Why did you mean Shadow? Shadows to Sonic. Shadows to Sonic. He's a hedgehog. 
Shout out to Where did you break the wall now? I think it's downstairs. No. Is it there? What if you play Eddie? We don't play Eddie because it costs money. Oh, shit. Can I ask why Lily? I mean, I guess you just like the card. You play whatever you want, dude. I play Leroy because of Dog. But Lily's not a Mishima. You can't play that. No Mishima, you don't play that. This game. This game is stock shit. This game is gonna be good as soon as I remember where where do you break the wall now. <laughs> they completely forgot where is the wall and destruction. <laughs> oh. I mean I wish that we'll find it eventually. It's not, that, it's not like the map is that big. This game goes crazy with possums. You play hard mode. You play hard mode on puzzle level, this, this game goes insane. This game hates you. I mean, it doesn't hate you, just it expects a lot of you. That's nice. I mean, it's nice for a game to say puzzle difficulty. You can have a, a change, I guess. Yeah, pretty sure this is not where you destroy Warland. It has to be upstairs, so somewhere upstairs, maybe. For epic Warland destruction. No! Hardest part of the game. What? <laughs> Where do you destroy the walnut? Hello? I'm here. <laughs> it was in a room, that's all I know. But then again, everything's in a room, so I should be quiet. To advance in Silent Hill 3, you must go into a room. What's your favorite horror genre? That's a real question. I mean, I guess what you mean, like what? When you have gun, when it's just slow and steady, when nothing ever happens. I like when nothing happens and you're scared of nothing. And it's like when the game fucks with you. Fucks with you. Ancient horror. Ancient. Oh, you like, you like a chuchlu. You like a chuchlu horror. And I guess it's like when the game fucks with your hand. Ow. You know when you just um, nothing really happens. Like, Ultra Kill. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Ultra Kill. The ultimate horror game. <laughs> Dude, I think what scares me the most is something like Ghost in Your House. <laughs> and even though I talk about this all the time because I have no topics, I think everything comes to Silent Hill for a system many times. The moment where you're your apartment gets haunted and it's not safe anymore that is scared me so much as a kid i'm pretty sure it comes from that it really really scares me scared me with d i 
And I cannot put everything on that. Dude. We need to some games to play. Dude, I cannot aim for my life. Have you ever seen Max Payne? I cannot aim for my life. How am I supposed to play Ultra Kill? Yeah, use a mouse and keyboard in Ultra Kill. Then you have you weren't here during Fallout. Or anything. Not even not even for. Uh what was the name? Hotline Miami. Just parry everything. Royal Guard! Royal Guard! Oh yeah, the MC4 is so cool, it's gonna destroy the games with number three on the title. Also, I guess Toho 8 by extent. I mean, if that game ever comes, because what, what did you destroy the world at? <laughs> Without shooting guns, yeah. Now nah, that's a lie. When I played Chivalry Medieval Warfare, I was also terrible at shooting. But don't worry, new game coming never because I don't remember where to destroy a wall now. <laughs> Back in my day, I was good at shooting. As I said all the time, this is something that you will never take from me. I was good at shooting games. I was good at Left 4 Dead 2. And I was good at Team Fortress 2. Like, actually good. Now I play Left 4 Dead 2, I'm slow. Even when I play Payday 2, I, I had tra issues headshotting tasers. And those guys don't move. I think the best, the best way to, to aim is just movement and mouse. You move and aim at the same time. And how you kick ass. Funny you say that because back in my days, like more than 15 years ago. <laughs> I mean, Left 4 Dead 2 was 2009, so you have an idea. And I played that game for a lot, a lot, a lot of time. This is what you used to the Walnut, you fucking idiot. There's a sort of vice here. I'm gonna put my nut and then the Walnut. Found ya. But yeah, I mean... Uh... I always thought to me, it's also a thing in my head. Maybe one of the issues I I have issue aiming is because I'm using my bed for a day, so maybe yes, you know the, the pose I have the stance of just on the bed instead of a table. Maybe that causing issues, which I doubt. Dude, even dude, but remind me. <laughs> Even back in my days, I was really good as Bane in League of Legends. And you need like a lot of movement with that character. I'm not gonna get into League of Legends detail. But for Bane you actually need to be decent. I was actually good. <laughs> now you give me Bane. I shit myself. I shit myself and die. Dude, I remember I got Darius when he was brand new and he was so boring because he was so busted. I just refund Darius and got Bane. And I got a lot more fun because Bane is super fun. Oh shit. Die. They got this incredible moveset. But yeah, it's true. I was good with Bane, I was kicking ass. I was actually really good at kitting and everything. Kiting. Oh shit. shit ma map is triangle. There you go. Now I get between the desk and... Nope. And many years without playing the game. I'm gonna play and just gonna shit myself and die. I 
Hello, where let's life. Ice kill ceiling, yeah. I mean, at this day in time, who, this, who is even is the hard ADC? Who, who are even the hard ADC? Like what? Kalista? Jin? B Bane, I guess, because low range. I guess Kalista is still tough. Because, you, because with Kalista, it's not just you being good. You need your partner to have balls. <laughs> Our baby mode, yeah. They never played us versus a full assassin team. They never played us versus Katarina, Talon, and Rengar at the same time. With a whatever support. <laughs> With a look support. <laughs> they never did something like that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Welcome to die. You are not having fun. We are. Other way, no, don't. No, hell. You fucking domas! That's a game over. I'm dead. <laughs> well, rest in peace, I guess. Rest in peace, bozo. Where am I? In the walnut room. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. I'm so disconnected of League. I mean, I don't know. I only know about League because me amigo sometimes talk about it. And you know, that's how I... He's also talking about this Karner thing. That you ready see. You're telling me the good old days when the class actually had a job? When the whole point of assassin was killing the weak guy and that's it? Is it die or survive? And not just fucking obliterate everyone sometimes if you're unlucky or something like that. Help! I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I know nothing, I'm a fool. I will take the role of a silly clown. Back in my day, assassins were awful. For Sassy. I guess that's helpful if your issues uh, like what farming, killing waves or whatever. I cannot even remember which assassin. Has issues cleaning waves. I guess Katarina early on. I guess Katarina early, early levels. But it's free mana, so you can just spam. Rengar song was a struggle, at least back in my days. Back in my days. <laughs> I'm bad. Rengar is against jungle. I mean, if you play. I'm back. Back him. <laughs> back him. <laughs> Back in my days, Rengar was a top lane AP mage, and he just kills you instantly. <laughs> Fuck League, dude. People still do that. That's still a thing. It's not just you. Nice, dude. Bears of a feather. Feather! Birds of a feather. Pantheon. You mean the. What a thrill, boys. You mean the old. Press Q through a spear you can miss? That Pantheon? <laughs> you mean that Pantalon? Oh, yeah, first boss. Point and click Q spear throw. Do you really miss point and clicks? <laughs> Do you really miss? <laughs> we will never forget. Oh uh oh, you step a little tiny bit closer to Vegar. Go to base. Die. You're going to the one using it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
So I guess you're one of the few guys that plays Annie Steel. <laughs> Well, a Gany over here. I think it's just silly. It's a silly character. It's a pyromantic child. That Samus a, a piece of bear. It's the same that playing Annie is not even fun. <laughs> I mean, it's old school. I guess. It's, it's like playing us. It's old school. Annie, press Q through a fireball. Q with a new guy, you have like four different Qs. Each one is different, with different whatever. Why fighting a giant purple PP? Oh my god! Out of nowhere, because I mean, it's League of Planes. So only, only you play League of Planes, so what the hell? What the Mi Amigo, he, he likes to play Annie from time to time, but he's the guy that hides in a bush and does nothing. He has hides to, to one shot a guy. That's what he did back in the day. That's what he enjoyed. <laughs> Hide for like 5 10 minutes, kill and kill a guy. <laughs> Jigwin League, I'm proud, dude. I'm really proud. I'm really, really proud. If it's not, if it's not, uh, Dominion, I am buying it. Are there items over here? Oh, I was selling kill one that you get the hunting rifle in a boss fight. Epic boss fight. If you are enjoying this boss fight, please unsubscribe. <laughs> I think you can kill it without the steel pipe, no problem. I mean, you get hit. So don't do it, but... Oh my god! Yeah, dude, fuck League. Go, go play a good game, like... My young. <laughs> You're playing so my young. <laughs> Is it an earthquake? This thing has earthquake. No way. It's ground type. Okay, boys, we need more games to play my young in. Who has ideas? My young or fishing? Maybe, maybe even both possible. PSP my young. Oh yeah, what was the, what was that weird my young game we found on that every single PSP game? Moe young. <laughs> what? Who wants to play Moe young? <laughs> Wants to do some Jagusaki Wami Mayong online. Oh, she's already unloading. Oh. And that's how you kill Worm. The Worm has been vanquished. <laughs> Good evening, Mayong. <laughs> Fishing in Mayon, dude. I still need to play that role like Mayon, like. Dude, there was a role like Mayon game on Steam. I want to check it out. It's a shopping mall just like before. We need to Mayon, boys. Oh yeah, we had like a, a Majon. Oh yeah, a Majon game coming out. The, what was it? The they told his Majon game. Who's up for that? <laughs> what? The... 
<laughs> pretty, dude, pretty soon, almost every single Mahjong game is either extremely anime with anime girls, or 18% of the roster is anime girls, or it's just nothing. Super serious nothing. <laughs> Those are your two, two choices. <laughs> no, Mahjong. <laughs> I think the game is on the Switch for years. Mayon with boobs. What if the Mayon has Sirno? Are you watching that? Are you watching that? <laughs> what if the Mayon has Tohi, which I don't know the name. Whatever new Tohi is in Toho 8. The Half Ghost Lady or whatever. Oh shit. For funny. When I get out of the mall, listen, I have. I have no co I have no uh, connection with the cell phone. When I get out of the town, my I will have 4G on the cell phone. I will open Discord. It was you. What just you know what's in my young? Oh dude. You must be one of them. Then you're gonna hate the FPS my young. Did you see the video already? It's in the video, dude. You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? What if we play my young rethink game? <laughs> is that a thing? Is, is my young rethink game a thing? No. Oh oh, you missed the beat. No run for it, you. Shit. Oh my god. If you hadn't found me. What are you talking about? What's so Check out this normal human conversation in Silent Hill. If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something that I've been running from and forgot for a long time. What if I'm the bad guy all along? What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, I don't even know if I can beat the game in one day. I mean, it took me like 1 hour and 30 to beat them all. And 30 of those minutes were, where is the walnut breaker? What should I do? How if I know? Oh! Okay, let's pretend I got outside real quick. Let's ignore I got into the metro. Oh shit, the Metro, just like that of the horror game? No way. No way! Okay, let's pretend I have 4G on the cell phone. Let's just, um... Let me open this call to watch one funny clip. Before our stream, yeah, but... I'm something that he's not. I am something that he's not. A no life digion. Silent Hill games can take forever if you have no idea what is happening. Red horror. Oh, yeah, that's the thing we, we you mentioned before. What even is this Twitter thingy? No me gusta como canta. Regresase para Japón. What? Pero quién es usted? Hola, soy Chamemiko y vine aquí para que me entrevistes. No me gusta cómo canta. Regresase para Japón. Insane. Are you winning? We just killed Purple Worm. We just def oh shit. Dude, I just opened the clip and the and you just greet me with this. What is this jump scare? What?
Your PC cannot be updated to Windows 11, but it will be receiving... Oh, thank God. Thank God. Dude, this is the opposite of a jump scare. Your PC cannot update to Windows 11. Thank God. What did they say? Uh, who are you? I am Hatsumiku. I'm here for you to interview me. I don't like how you sing. Go back to Japan. TikTok, TikTok noise. Okay, what even is this thing? Okay, I don't even know going to ask how you got in here in this situation, but sure. He jumped. To have the clip. <laughs> Have the clearest the loading screen. <laughs> he jumped. This is literally a dragon engine moment. You hit the guy so hard on the ground that he bounces. <laughs> he jumped on with the both legs and arms. <laughs> so we jump. Let's go Mario jumps in frog mode. Oh! Rest in peace. He got goaded. Okay, boys, today I learned something new. You get ra you can get run over by trains in Watch the Dog. Awesome. Yeah, Windows 11 is so weird. I watch... You know, I, I mi amigo has Windows 11. And when I went to his house to do the Pokemon Emerald thingy, I had no idea what was happening. Only that. Nice. I had no idea what was what was happening. It, it looked weird. And then you just get you just need to get used to it. Just like everything. Fruity Rose. People also throw a lot of shit to beast and shit, but uh, the other one, seven. I remember using Vista for a while and you get used to it. Then again, through the entirety of Windows Vista, I missed XP. I really missed. <laughs> and I was using Vista because I, I was a laptop. Boys, because back in my day, <laughs> <back> in, I... <laughs> I got a laptop. That's the first that's the first ever my own PC I got, a laptop. And I think it was HP. An HP laptop and I played so much Left 4 Dead 2 in that. You have no idea. And you know what the, I played Left 4 Dead 2 so much in that thing that when I got it, it didn't came with a mouse. So I played for a, for a few weeks, I played Left 4 Dead 2 with the with the mouse of the laptop. The one that is your finger. And let me tell you something. I played two games and that's it. On easy mode with bots. And I said no. I wait for a key. I wait I wait for a mouse. The touchpad, yes. Touchpad is good until you play game with that. Boys, who's up who wants to what if I get the, my old crusty oh wait, never mind, it's broken. I think I have a laptop over here. Maybe that somewhat works. Who wants to play Total War Zone 2 with a touchpad? Who wants to do the, the most dog shit thing you can imagine? Windows 7 the best. <laughs> Windows 7. Well, let me remember Windows 7. Windows 7. Oh, this one. For some reason, I think I didn't enjoy this one. Or wait, did I even go to Windows 7? I think I did, but I don't remember. I remember using Vista more. Oh yeah, Vista was weird. I think I got seven because here's the thing. Where every time my laptop got uh, because my laptop uh, at the end days of my laptop, the poor guy was just dying all the time. He was at the limit. So every time I went to my amigo, my amigo is PC friend by the way. PC friend is just like let's uh do the format. I don't know if that's how you call it in English. Yeah, basically a a format. I guess that's how you say it. He sometimes updated the Windows version. Say, okay, you use the new Windows. It's gonna be better or something like that. Just use the new one. That's it. And that's pretty much what's it. 
I like Windows 10. I mean, it's not like I'm the mastermind when it comes to PCs. I play, I play the video game and it was the YouTube. And sometimes I do something different, which I don't even know what it is. Sometimes I, I edit the video because, guess what, boys? I edited, I edited GTA 3 Part 1. I reload it and YouTube said, no, you still have copyright claims. <sighs> Much more better. Yeah. The thing is, back in those days, I couldn't afford an SSD, even if it's a cheap one. Or if I did, it was going to be whatever. Because I'm telling you, when when I when we got on the on the laptop uh, topic, and we got into detail. Burn. When we got deep into the laptop topic, it was way too late. The poor guy was uh, the at the limit. <laughs> I remember trying to play league. And my laptop just crashed. Did you use Windows XP? Yes, that's my first ever Windows. The family computer, quote unquote, my brother's computer. <laughs> cool, cool, cool Windows XP. Oh shit! That's like the classic. I feel nostalgic when it comes to to the noises. Like when you open the windows, like do 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 do. Remember those noises? Oh, wait. Dun, 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 dun. Like, oh, are you playing Thorn games again? Oh, I don't know. This, I got to the point that everything feels nostalgic for me when I think back in the day. Okay, boys, today Silent Hill 3 is the stream that I just talk about me being old, even though technically by human being standards I'm not old, but by internet standards I'm old. Nut cracker. Finally, I can crack my nut. I mean, this game is technically retro. This is a PS2 game. Technically, it's retro. <laughs> Old fart, I apologize. I apologize for growing up into a sad husk of a human being. I mean, I guess. I mean, we're in 2024. This console is like 20 years old. Because PS2 is like what, 2000, 2001? I guess 20 years old is retro. And we talked about this the other day. Do you think PS3 is retro? Okay, PS2 is being touched. PS3 is retro. It feels so weird for me. Just the idea that PS3 is retro because it's getting really old, the PS3. Ooh. And when was PS3 released? PS3 release date. PS3 is 2006 in Japan. 2006, November 17, 2016, not North America. March 23, 2007, in Europe and Australia. So for me, it's 2007. Dude, in two years, PS3 is going to be 20 years old. In two years, it's going to be 20 years old. Right now, it's 18 years old. Oh. Dreamcast is prehistoric, yeah. <laughs> and NES and Super Nintendo and Mega Drive are just a myth. They're not even real anymore. They are myths. Product of your imagination. How do I crack the nut? Bolt and a nut. <gasps> the nut crocker. What if I stream from my Super Nintendo? Shit. What if I do a 2009 stream and I have the camera recording the TV? The console of 90s, Mega Drive 2. <laughs> Mega Drive 2, uh, it's called Genesis. It's called the Genesis. I still think it's really funny. There is a reality where Dreamcast did well 
and Yakuza is exclusive to whatever console Sega is doing. I think it's funny. If you want to play Sonic and Yakuza and all these Sega games, you must play on the latest Sega console. That's a reality. I think it's really funny. <laughs> that is not this reality. It's a gift, gift grab box. Could it be a birthday present? No, I guess not. Nobody I know will give me something this gross. But I'll take it anyway. It should come in hand against the monsters. Shotgun! Wait, give me a second. Shotgun! There you go. I'm happy. <laughs> there are different realities. This is the reality where PS2 is retro. <laughs> this, is, this is the reality where PS2 is getting retro. <laughs> oh my god! It's a League of Legends player. Don't care. Cool enemy. <laughs> Look at him go! It was Vanguard. Vanguard was the only reason I really never got into Valorant. I played that with friends on the quarantine 2020. And a part of me and my friends, I was like, dude, let's play Valorant. It was fun, it was enjoyable, just for fun. But then I thought Vanguard, like, oh, get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Ah, you know, good ideas. Good ideas are good ideas. And the best idea is to prevent cheating. You must create something that boot up with your computer. Yikes. That's extremely smart. And still, Valorant and League of Legends is one of the most played games online. One of the most played games overall. But that's mostly because... That's mostly because... Here's a secret. I'm gonna say that maybe 60% of League of Legends players only play League of Legends. For the most part. And nothing else. Can I save the game? I, I, I remember dying on this part all the time. No! I mean, you play whatever you want. As long as you want. As I said, I have a system of powers in Left 4 Dead 2, and that game was... Well, I mean, Left 4 Dead 2 was alive for a really, really long time, because Valve cared and the community cared. The game still goes, it's just, you know, just to have a small community, that's all. But last time I came back on my own, I played a lot of new maps. Many of them very unique. And then I played with you guys, yeah, remember that day? Other games. They care about the money. No, Heather! She just jump in there. Valve care about Dota. I guess somewhat they care. But, but back, back in the... Back in my... <laughs> now, on the old days, they really did. Left 4 Dead 2 got out of his... Uh, dude, Left 4 Dead 2 got a lot of updates. Team Fortress 2 got a lot. A lot of updates. Counter Strike was everywhere. Are people still mad at Counter Strike 2? Do people still hate Counter Strike 2 or the game is fine now? I mean, 
I don't know. Imagine hating on best game. Or second best game. The best game is, you know which one it is. Delete completed. No, you fucking idiot. Don't delete the save file. Thank you. So having fun in Metro. I'm sorry. Didn't you want it Metro Exodus? There you go. Metro Exodus. There you go. You want the Metro Exodus. There you go. Metro Exodus, but anime. You play as anime girl with a steel pipe. That's it. And we talk about... I don't know, what is this? I read this a long time ago. It's a nothing little occult magazine. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. Read for fun, though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt a particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness on the moment they died. Dude, this is me on YouTube! The pain can get so bad that they turn to humans for salvation, or they begrudge humans their lives. At such times, they can possess humans. Places known as Cowboy Macaque's YouTube channel, or let's talk about Monster Hunter, are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or at the time the death occurred. That is, if you don't want to happen to you too. <gasps> that has, in the end... <laughs> but when people love Linkin Park. I mean, Linkin Park is still kick ass. Exodus! What about, what about Metro in the end? When I think of, I was gonna say, isn't there um, wasn't there like a metro horror game that recently came out? Yes, it was a it's a chillas art game. It's like a ghost train or something. Talking about ghost train, check it out. Heather, get out of the way! That that's the noise you make when a train runs over you. You're a platinum a game? I mean, you're playing Jagu Sakiwami. You're playing Jagu Sakiwami, you know what I mean? You have the completion list ahead of you. <laughs> Just think about the Majong and the Sogi. And the Hostess. And the Amon. Which the Kiwami Amon is... Not good. <laughs> not good. You're gonna platinum it. Good, don't do it. I say this all the time, Platinum a game, it's only if you really like the game. You wanna know why Platinum the Yakuza games? I had way too much free time. Back in my day, no. <laughs> no, Jason jokes aside, I had like... A lot of free time. And I just like Yakuza Kiwami a lot. Like a lot, 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 lot. So I just played it. I just Platinum the game. And then I did Kiwami and then I did Zero. And then like a dragon happened. And then, you know, 3, 4, and 5 happened on YouTube. Don't mean, not the full platinum, the rest of the achievements I had left. Can I do this thing? It is illegal? Okay, it's illegal. And then, you know, the judgment happens, the easing happens, the infinite... I mean, I didn't platinum infinite wealth. I need to buy the a DLC to platinum it. You know. Your average platinum... I mean, your average platinum is just pain. It's not really worth it. There are platinums that you enjoy doing. Yeah, pretty much. Platinum and Yakuza game is only if you really like it. And your biggest enemy is pacing. You must pace yourself or else you just get nothing. There are platinums and platinums, that's all. Some are fun, some are not, but your average platinum is gonna be painful. Because you need to do everything, or use something really weird. It's a lot, you know. Like, so you want to spend time doing whatever you need to do in this game? It's up to you. You need friends. Achievements where you need other players are more... Uh, 
that don't decay. You don't really need them anymore. Never forget, but back in my day, you had multiplayer online achievements. And that's bad. If you want the platinum, that's bad. I'm gonna tell you something. Probably I will never. I, I back on the PS3, I, w I wanted to platinum Redemption One until you read achievements that say you must be like the best player in multiplayer, and I was dog shit. So I wasn't getting that. I need to look for a destination. I don't even have a key item. You just look for where you need to go. Nice. Nice camera. Oh yeah. Which this door is a trap. I think this was a trap. As you, you see this door over here, but I think if you try to reach to it, you die, I think. I think you die if you try to get to it. I mean, I'm about to find out. Oh, the train is coming! Get out of the way! Am I dead? Watch out, boys. Don't get masked by the train. It's like Silent Hill 4. <gasps> the one that no one likes except me. I love it. It's my favorite. and I will defend it. Until I won't because I understand people having different tastes. And people don't like score missions. And people don't like... This and that, but I think Silent Hill 4 is an outstanding game. Like I like when I like when the guy falls down from the building and he has a tie with Virgin Mary and he's like You are the guy from the other side of my room. And then you have a uh, Henry going like Yeah That me Punk. Yo, Cacao, you, YouTube Starship. YouTube Star is coming. Next YouTube Star just drop by doing clips. Just by, just by uploading the clips. Uh, oh yeah, the oldest games. Oh yeah, I, I told before the... Um, oh see, I think I skipped a really cool easter egg. About the ghost pushing you, my bad. Uh... I remember I played Outlast 1 and 2 with my with a friend. Not me amigo or P PC friend, that's the sort of thing. I, another guy. Those games are awesome. They really make you feel like the Outlast. And the coolest thing of them all is that. But I was talking about them. Oh you can die here. If you walk forward you die. <laughs> yeah, um, games have been scared. As I said, Silent Hill 4 scared me a lot as a kid. Ah, uh, that's the average cacao. Don't worry about that. That's, that's your average internet guy. Don't worry. Uh, Silent Hill 4 scared me a lot, but I remember on the possibly the most recent game that actually scared me. It was the high school parts in Outlast 2. It wasn't the asylum in Outlast 1, without, that was a scary. Or the weird village part in Outlast 2. Shit. It was the high school moments in Outlast 2. For some reason I was terrified of that. Brazil, that's Sweet Tooth. That's Sweet Tooth supporting the small channels. I mean, that's, that's, that's not the full game, it's just half of the game. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I 
I want the ghost to push me. I go back to in the shadows. <laughs> Those are really good games. Didn't the trials came out like recently? Like out of beta, the full full version, 1.0. I think it did. It did. Do people like it? People slept on it. <laughs> I remember, I remember watching it when the, the game was new, you know, the, the beta. The game seems enjoyable. I would rather have a full single player Outlast game because those are weird and, you know, they're actually fun. But uh, I guess they have other plans. It was just like, it was literally outlast, but with people. It sounds more fun, but it's not the same as a single player for me. It's fun when you play with people you know. I only got one guy that will... No, I have no one to play outlast with, never mind. I have literally no one. Okay, the, the killer is killing me. The killer is killing me. You do objective. And the guy just asking how you run in the game. How do you how do you jump? Why did we play horror games on Steam that no one has ever played? Oh shit! The same thing happened. Heather. Heather! Oh, please! Can you get up? Thank you. I'm dying. There you go. There has been a horror game I've been thinking a lot for a really, really long time because I found a streamer. One of, the, one of these few ones I, I can watch live. He played some Chinese horror game in a high school. I look kind of interesting, and, and the weirdest thing of them all is that years later, I find out there is a movie of that game. So I don't know if that's a movie game, or that's a movie out of the game, or it's a game out of the movie, or maybe just a, an actual Chinese urban legend or, what, or something like that. Which is better, it was something like this university in China or something that if you go at night and you do something weird, a ghost chases you and you die. Pretty much it. It was cool. He gave up because he, he hated the game. Okay, I guess I will try to show later the um, ghost pushing you. I like when the ghost pushed me to my death. Oh, what is this? That symbol is drawn on the floor. Hope I don't get cursed just by stepping on it. Yeah, hell, I stop on the symbol. There you go. Almost one hour of playtime, but the stream time is two hours. Oh, shit. Ow. This is where I shoot my gun, and I waste ammo instead of wasting health. Okay, boys, how many how many horror games are out there that are train based? That's a big one. Oh, just jump. Cool jump. That 
That's a big one. Oh. Hopefully, they'll see us now. Oh, an empty juice can. It's only a piece of trash. Dude, the game is giving me shotgun ammo. And you know what I'm doing? Running. Eating energy drinks. Okay, now it's when we talk about funny subway stories. I have nothing. <laughs> I only been in a drain like twice in my life. No. <laughs> I've been like twice in my life and it was a whatever experience. And by twice I mean go place and come back to pl from place. I see these sto stories. Nah. Listen, the only GTA games that are gonna be here eventually guaranteed most likely are Chinatown Wars and One. You know, Grand Theft Auto One, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Maybe at some point I'll play, I don't know, in a distance future I can play like, what, San Andres? Or Five? But I'm gonna be honest, I got a really good time with GTA 3. Mostly because of the... I mean, the game was really fun, but I really enjoyed the radio. I was listening to the music you guys dropped. We have the cool music, you have the coolest music, and then you have the arepa song. Ooh, dame la media arepa, dame la arepa entera. San Andres, no. I tried to do that as a kid once. I never did. I mean, how do you oh, oh, on iPad off? Oh. Can you ask why? I tried to do that once, but how do you even 100% by San Andres? I guess every oyster, every horseshoe, every photo, every graffiti. Apparently, yeah, the flight me. I mean, I mean, you play on on an iPad. The game is tough. <laughs> it has to be tough. Nice one. Oh, you sad, Dave. Oh, my office area. Oh shit. But come on, it's San Andres, right? Wait, San Andres is popular and people love it. We are supposed to hate it. Ow! I hate this enemy so much. Kill! I'm pulling out the Glock. Just cast a few times. I'm surprised you said a few times playing on, playing on iPad. I mean, I should be quiet. The remastered collection is based on the. 4, 5. 5 shots. The remastered collection is based on the iPad version, I think. Of the three games. Which is still surprised me it got an iPad version. All you had to do was buy a damn iPad, DJ. Please don't. Nice. Oh yeah, more was a weapon. I forgot this is an actual weapon. Like a big round pointy hammer, it's super heavy, but at least it's it it it's got some oomph. Cool weapon.
The ultimate weapon, ammo. <laughs> what if it has a Java version? Do you know what I really want to play for the cell phone? I want to play the Java version of Devil May Cry 1. Or Devil May Cry whatever. Nice, nice hit. Oh, you can block forever. This weapon is dog shit. Either that or this enemy is extremely powerful. Okay, who wants that dual maker for Java? And I'm at it. I'm at it. I'm at it. I will say this is the part I like the least in Silent Hill 3. Like, I really don't like this part. God of War Java. There is a God of War Java. You know what I found? And I never got? And I really wanted it? Nightmare Creatures on Java. I swear back in those days. Back in those days, the when you check out. What even am I? I hate this place. When you check the, the magazine or video games or whatever and you have you check out this, send this code and you get this the game because back in those days that's how it worked. You send like an SMS, a message. And you get the game in return. Or something like that. I don't even remember how it worked. I never got a Java phone on my own. I swear I saw nightmare creatures on this on the Java. I think I'm going back. Oh, never mind. I got in the somewhat right direction. Somehow I did it. Alright, I need an item. Dirty water. Let me check real quick. Let me check real quick. Nightmare Creatures Java. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I think it's inspired on the first game. Boys, Nightmare Creatures on Java. Oh shit. We need to play this. New game, hell yeah. Jump one or three. Bloody Valerina. I have re jump. Revenge. So I get this. So you play as Alucard, Jack, Angelia. Where are you going? Yeah, you can. Press six to strike. Oh hell yeah! What is he attacking with? Okay, it's a, it's a it's an standard beat em up, an old school beat em up of side scroller. Yeah, I'll kill it. There's no noise. Holy shit, he's killing them. Yeah, Nightmare Creatures. Nightmare Creatures. Nightmare Creatures. What an epic game. Epic cell phone game from an epic video game. What name is Nightmare Creatures? 
Do you miss the stream of the best game ever? Are you for real? Ooh. It's like a... People call it the blubber of PS1. Which is it's like a hack and slash, a really hard hack and slash. I can save, thank god. It's it's a it's it's pretty much it. it's a 3D PS1 hack and slash. That's it. It has very cool ambience and really cool music. At least the second one. Right, you take care now, okay? Enjoy that. And have fun. And do the thing. Did I skip the map of this thing? Where is the map? Ow! So I need a bottle to get kerosene, and with a kerosene I go to the other place and... I can drain the dirty water. A big enemy. Is this an open room? It is an open room. Or it seems like it. But let me say it once again just to make sure. I really don't like this part in Silent Hill 3. This is the safe room. Well, this is where I need to go. I really, really, really don't like this part. Which I think is not even that long. It's just that I need a bottle. I need a key item. And then I can advance. Is there any door on the side? I have a feeling that they missed the map. But every time I get into this area, I never have a map. So it's either there's no map or I always skip the map. It's one of those two. No map or I ignore. Then I see these things on the ground and like, is that a map? It's just some dirty paper. I love it. What if there's no water and the game wants you to carry the kerosene with your mouth? Put the kerosene in your mouth and carry it all the other way. Okay. 
We'll explore these first. Hello? Shotgun shell. Well, that's fine, I guess. It's not like I'm using that much ammo. New place. Do I skip in dialogue? Big gamer. <gasps> the map! There is an actual map! Hell yeah. So now I can check which rooms I wouldn't be in. Yeah, so I guess I skip the... I guess I always skip the the secret the, the secret map. I look like a gold bear, maybe. Sorry. Maybe one of these doors will open. Noises. Ah. Imagine a selling hill game without silly noises. Impossible. Well, how deadly is this weapon? Never mind. Hits. I don't know if you lose health if you block. One of the biggest mysteries. Oh, yes, we're in circles. I really do love the... I don't even know how this... The sewers, it's called? What is this part even called? Oh yeah, the... The funny noise part. That's how it's called. Oh yeah, this is the beginning. That's where the this is the stairs, stairs to the Medero, right? Nice, square one. Oh, so... So there's not much room to as to what is the bottle. And to find the bottle, I mean. That means I already missed it. I've been next to it, but got nothing. 
I'm bottle or key item. So now we explore everything again. It's funny because I think I was selling Hill 3 and I like the game. But I don't really like many parts. I really, I really, really don't like this part. I like them all though. I think them all is really cool. Oh. I also like the, the apartment building. But then again, the apartment building, I still get really lost in there. Same with the hospital, which I, I guess that's part of the Silent Hill, getting lost, because everything looks really pretty much the same. But it feels different with Silent Hill 3. And then you have the theme park. Which now I think about it, the game is not that long if I think about it. It's just that I have no idea where the key items are, which that's what makes the game longer. I spent like 30 minutes looking to where should I break a walnut. Oh shit. Oh. You know what? If I die, I die. I save. Which at this point, I guess I can love the game. Found it. Ah, oh, it's a long way around. Oh, let's, let's just go there. It was there, I told you. I'm not exhausting all the dialogue options. You get really good dialogue in this game with... In Heather's mind. I mean, it's not like... It's not dialogue like Max Payne. But he has started talking about whatever he's talking about. It's another kind of monologue. I'm dying. Okay, let me use this temple, why not? There you go, full health. We don't care. I have a feeling that I'm gonna have a lot of ammo and no healing. So I need to start shooting gun in some situations. Really this I need to start shooting gun in some places. Okay. Time to make progress. Yo. Time to open the map non stop because this game. Is a bit... Oh shit, what? This way I say would rather play normal, it's just. I don't know, difficulty in selling here, please, whatever thing. It's just pretty much everything takes harder to more to kill. I mean, it's what you expect of a hard mode. Everything hits harder. And it's stronger. It has more health. Of course, I can drink it. What do you mean you cannot drink it? You cannot drink it, or you don't want to drink it. Drink the kerosene. Is he a spy? Easy as fuck. 
And now we go to the bottom of this. If I can stand the smell, that's it. Heather <laughs> is sassy. I should have saved the game. I would buy. We will be fine. I mean, I think this is almost done. I mean, this is really short. It's like the apartment building. Well, I think about two apartment buildings because there's this one that you actually do things. And I think there is a different one that is your home. Which you barely do anything. You just go up and that's it. And then you have a boss fight. We're enemy. Cool jump animation. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty much done. Oh wow. A deadly enemy just show its face. Punishment? None. Just run away. I don't even know how many shots do I need to kill them. There's no need to know that. When enemy takes more than three shots to kill. Now that's horror. Now that is it's scary. you see that thing underwater? La criatura. I mean, I think it's a monster. La criatura is underwater. La criatura is sleeping. Whatever. Okay, where am I? Where is the hair dryer? Ah, yes, it's on the chair. Now that's a lot of garbage. <laughs> that's my that's my channel. I'm pole. That's kind of talking about my channel. Holy shit. Now that's a lot of garbage. All in this game, you need a hair dryer. And check it out. <gasps> La criatura has vanished. We are in danger. Nice. <laughs> Don't play this game hard. Unless you enjoy having war. Please, iframes. No more, please. No more of enemy. Oh, shit. Wait, was that an item or is it just my eyes doing going crazy? There's nothing. I apologize. Save completed. There you go. Let's 
There's a monster in the water. The bastards kill two of my buddies. I should never have doubted that all urban legend out alligators in the sewers. That was no myth. But no one believes me. They were drunk and sleep. We're not that damn stupid. Even calling it a monster isn't quite right. This is something else. All I know is some things in here and there. I'm going in now to beat that thing's head in. If you find this note, consider it my will. Revenge is futile, or so you may think reading this. But Jose and Jaime were my best buddies. Wish I knew how to do the deed. The selfish deed? Guns won't work underwater. Even my even my famous knife work won't do much if only had a hand grenade. Silent Hill is real. It's killing Jose and Jaime. Danger, keep out. But they got today's date on them, that's weird. I cannot believe Jose and Jaime are dead, dude. Jose and Jaime are dead, the game is bad. I will do this, but I didn't save the game, but... Wait, I just saved the game, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, oh, I hope nothing bad happens here. Oh, shit. Incredible. That's why you need a hair dryer. Where's in peace? She tried. Awesome. I think this is the only Silent Hill with unique death animations like that. I think. It reminds me a bit to Haunting Ground. There are so many death animations in that game. Because that game is cool. There you go. Tentacle defeated. <laughs> the face planted the water so hard she died. This game can be silly. I had a mechanic, by the way. Dude, this Silent Hill is really good, but I hate this part of the game. I hate that mechanic. I hate. The... Yeah. I think it's really not need to just to you die because you fall down. Even I think it's kind of tough to fall down, you need to press up a lot. Do you do you need extra game for this or I think you need new game plus for this. Yeah, I think it's New Game Plus only. Well... That's a save... Yeah... My steel pipe. I wanted my steel pipe. I know it's terrible, but I just love walking around with this. 
Of course, it's the first time I've used it against anything living. I didn't know you can examine that thing. Yeah, I guess gonna guess it's new game plus extra game mode or whatever it was called. I like when the scary game gets silly. That's really nice. Nice one. Okay. Oh, this enemy. Oh lord, it's coming! Like them? No, it's nothing. Okay, let's get out. Sewers survived. You see, I really sort, and for some reason, I, rem I rem always remember being stuck here for hours. Then again, I remember. I also. Remember no no map never. Or maybe I got and I just forgot. We are outside of the map. Map so good you get out of it. And now you snake it a little bit, and you're out of the game. Where am I? There's no map. Yeah, we're outside. Okay, I think the both parts I was talking about are technically the same. Spin. Yes. Now shave it, save completed, yes. We are in a cool place right now. Just yes, after this part is the part I'm thinking about. The apartment complex. I really like in this game that the healing item is a healthy drink. What is the description of the item? Health drink. It's full of nutrition to help me recover at least a little of my strength. Yeah, I like that you fighting creatures beyond shit, beyond human comprehension, and your killing item is I don't know some a Gatorade or something, an Aquarius. So I mean, I don't know if that's healthy. I think Gatorade is not healthy. I never got Gatorade in my life. But I think Aquarius is somewhat healthy, I think. Dude, I hate this hack the war mechanic. I, th I think that's only because it's hard mode. I 
I thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like it, this has been used. Oh my god, a bathroom. Truly. There's nothing more scary than that. Somebody was living here. Okay, who likes violence? Who likes violence against a wall? Silencer. Psh. It's the black cat. It's like the black cat. I wish I hadn't seen that. I think you lose damage with the silencer. Too much for the blast. We are leaving. Yeah, but I think it's like it's harder to be detected. But you do less damage. I guess the trade-off is worth it because if they cannot detect you. You can just shoot at without You can just shoot Shoot without warriors Feel a filthy matters Yes I will do that thing I will do anything the game asks me to do <laughs> that jump animation I don't need that anymore. You don't need a madras? Madras is cool. This is another section that I don't even remember if there is a map. But it was more simple, so it's whatever. Oh, it just spawned in. But well, I found the guy living here. There he goes. Oh, he goes back to sleep. He got tired. Now that's an enemy. If I ever see one. Big guy walks a bit. Gets tired. Still alive? What? Do I stomp on the thing? Let's go for some ass. I'm dying to the keyboard of a mosquito. I hate this enemy so much. It doesn't even make sense. You know what doesn't make sense? Me not using the handgun. Why am I like why am I like this? Papers. 
A mannequin company. We love mannequins. Okay, this isn't the way. Weird enemy noise. That's definitely the way. Oh! Oh, shit. A friend, maybe. Wasn't there like a tunnel here? That was the room. You have no idea how. See, this is the thing about Silent Hill 3. Things like this is what scare me. You manage your own business and suddenly, boom, mannequin decapitation and then there's blood. I mean, that's nothing out of the ordinary in you live in this universe. I mean, this universe is our life, technically, it's real world. That's the cool shit. We need things like that. That actually got me. I never forget, by it got me, I mean, I got scared, but my brother was the one, was the one playing. As always. all days getting scared because evil mannequin oh god six seven eight eight shot to kill a dog I know it's hard mode, but holy shit, dude. Them are tanky. Ow. And you only get, you only get 10 shots per ammo pickup. But then again, that's the dog. You can just put some bacon in there. Drop the bacon. That's all you need. Office building map, thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, who wants to look for item that unlocks this thing so we can get another item? Looking for item. Oh, you can even block with gun. I thought you could only block with melee. Nice. Yeah, build different. Build different in a way that I always thought that Heather looks weird. There was something about her that just. I don't know. It just looks weird. I guess it's the PS2 faces. Oh, 
Oh shit. Bathroom. Hi. I'll see just the mouth just it moves weird. When she talks. Uh where is where I wanted to be? Oh, this is the wind. This is where I came from. Yes. Oh, shit. It is the place. Yes, it is the place. Okay, then to explore, we need item that open the drawer. And then we can silence the heels. Because these heels are very noisy. And we need to teach them a lesson. Cool, cool floor. Drawer, thank you, Heather. Ah, uh, yes, and just like Silent Hill fashion, everything is closed. Nothing is open. Never mind. The fifth floor. We don't need to go up and around. Refusing to check what's inside the box. Nice. I'm willing to change the difficulty if you can, only to stop this hack the war mechanic. I really hate it. Because I swear that's only on hard mode. Repress of Memories. What the hell kind of title is that? I don't get this picture at all. She doesn't understand art. I just remember that the last time I played this game, I used a guide for this. For this puzzle. That's for skipping dialogue. You move the joystick and she moves and you skip dialogue. Nice and simple. Big baby man needs guy to beat Silent Hill. That's the item we need. Okay, this is a good weapon. I think the katana was the best weapon in the game. Or at least the best melee weapon. Insane. Insanity. Don't worry, we have a katana. This is a spoiler of Ghost of Tsushima coming whenever the game comes out on Steam. Place my steel! I hate melee combat in this game. I 
I hate combat the way all in this game. I don't know if the Raid World is franchise. But you must be a madman if you think that. I, I mean, I don't know about all of them. The combat in the Silent Hill games is decent. I mean, it's there. I guess. Oh shit. There's nothing here. It's a big guy. Get up. Just a big guy in a small room. Cool room. I mean, Select Hill 2 is a very. Jack. Select Hill 2 is a very unique game. That's the, whole, that's the problem. It's an extremely unique game in the ways of the storytelling and characters and everything. People hate Bluebird Team. I think, I mean, I think it's called Bluebird Team. I mean, don't hate them, but they made games in a very specific way. That is not the how Select Hill 2 should be approached. So that's uh, concerning. I guess we just need to wait and see. And the biggest problem is, this is something I see all the time. Dead Space Remake and Resident Evil 4 Remake came out and they are really, really good. They are fantastic remakes. So Select Hill 2 is fighting two horror games, or you know, Resident Evil 4 can be whatever you want, but anyway, it's a remake. Part of the rival franchise for years because back in these days it was Resident Evil vs Silent Hill was a topic in how they approach horror I guess in different fashion I don't know what they were going to do we just can't wait and see and it's really funny how their Silent Hill comeback is real and then what you're getting is Silent Hill Ascension, no one no one likes it. Selling Hill the the other one. I didn't forgot the I, I even though I named up the game before. The first person one that you know that that one. No one really cares. I mean it was alright as far as you know, it was an okay game. So Selling Hill comeback is becoming more and more whatever. And then you have the Silent Hill movie coming out. You have the Silent Hill Japan coming out. I mean, I, I, I think it's Silent Hill F or something like that. Silent Hill with Japan aesthetic, I guess you can call it. And Silent Hill 2 Remake. So they better make Silent Hill... Oh, not this room. This this is blood. So it's it's fine to be worried about Silent Hill 2 remake because that's a specific way. That's a really important game for many people and very unique in everything. First 20 minutes of the game they're gonna just drop everything in your face. You did this, James. It was you. No, it wasn't me. And it's gonna be the entire game. Are you gonna fight Pyramid Head every three minutes? I got a rope. Read the room remake. There's actually a somewhat remake of Silent Hill 1. That's the memories. Wait, that's another Silent Hill I would like to play. I don't know if that counts as a remake. It's like a retelling of Silent Hill 1. In a way that it plays completely different. And it was like an experiment. It was an interesting game. I remember having a good time with it. But I don't know if they will bother. A proper remake of 1. 
I look at Capcom. Resident Evil Remake 2, awesome. 3, we don't talk about 3. And Remake 4. They could do the same with Silent Hill Remakes. Even though the main difference is that the Silent Hill games are very different. The way you approach them compared to Resident Evil. Resident Evil, you run, you shoot, you shoot the zombie, and that's it. Uh, what a bother to climb up that rope. I'm gonna look around this floor for now. He refused to climb up the rope. I just saved the game. Silent Hill, they're different way of the environment and the storytelling and just how the game over... The overall how the game works and feels. Echo. I guess we have to wait and see. It's too early to lose faith. I mean, look at me. I, I remember when I watched the... First thing, watch the Jagusa Gaiden trailer. I felt nothing. I honestly, the first time I watched the Jagusa Gaiden trailer, the one with gameplay and everything, I didn't really like it. <laughs> then I played the game. And it was a whatever game for me. <laughs> I didn't really love it. Not even like it, but I didn't hate it either. It was just a game. Oh shit. Oh. Which I still don't know if people like Jagusa Gaiden or not. Game came out and people were like, Yo, you threw explosive joint. It's awesome. Well, that's what I did to the entire game. Oh, see, we go to the evil world. I should have explored everything. I guess for your average human being, Jagusa Gaiden is fine. It's just maybe too short. On... I knew it. There's a few things here and there. You know, maybe the trailer becomes awesome. Maybe Silent Hill 2 Remake becomes awesome when it comes out. You never know. My brain hurts. She hates taking a bath so much that she gets Brain damage. Invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Oh no, not again. Did she do this too? Fuck you! Photo. I'm twisting the handle, but nothing's coming out. I found recently a secret in this place that it was pretty much something was connected in the bathtub. Something coming out from the bathtub and just touching something or whatever, I don't even know. It's selling here, it's weird. Don't bother explaining it. There's a thing happening and it's weird. Oh, yes, I understand. I understand Silent Hill. The mummy-like thing in the wheelchair is just a door. There's a door in the wheelchair. I have a feeling about it. Hello. Sorry, Branket. This place is scary. Oh my god. New enemy. Which is awful. Poor thing. I love when you can do this in games. You can move your character's head when you move around. <laughs> okay, that was epic. So it's time, yeah. 
Not every game could do that. I love when games do that. When you're moving, like when you are looking around and your character moves your head, where the camera is, lo is looking at. I really like it. This is the best cutscene, right? Do they look like monsters to you? No, they look like bitches. Bitch. Best cutscene in the franchise. And who are you? The man's some bitches, Jennifer. <laughs> Don't forget it, okay? Pussy! I'm on your side. Why is the cutscene audio so low? So you say. This is Yuri Lowenthal. I know you're not with her. Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. Wait, no, no, no. This is not Yuri Lowenthal. I think. Or is he? Crazy old hag. No, this is not Yuri. I think he's during the remaster. I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She was your mother. That's in the remake or something. He's my mother. What do you mean? You he's Vincent in the HD collection. Uh, so Harry didn't tell you. Which anything. no one likes the HD remaster. I guess he hit the truth to keep you on his side. That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know everything. I know about your past, too. He played you Silent Hill 1. What's going on? You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, hey, look at Heather's face. She looks weird. Into this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Does this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! You knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. Oh, it was in here the guts in what oh it was later on in the other game. That good guys in there. Do they look like monsters to you? Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, oxidol obtained. When you pour diluted hydrogen peroxide onto manganese dioxide, oxygen exudes of oxygen. Not far. That's for the painting. Do they look like monsters to you? What do you mean is the reasoning of changing the voice actors in the ACD collection? I think there was an actual reason, but I don't even remember which one it is. Or maybe not remember, but I don't know. All I know is that nobody likes the remastered collection. ACD remaster. It just messed up with a few things in the games. Yeah, games. Ow. Oh, you can just, you can just leave it. Because I think they also messed up with the boat section in Talent Hill 2, I think. Uh, I want this floor. Open. Thank you. Help! Do I hate this enemy so much? He has some wield on four legs pushing you down. 
doing a knockdown, a heavy knockdown. And then sometimes he do an Oki and he hits you. So that's he hits you when you're down. Worst enemy, some weird doing no four legs. Oh, hello. A book's line here, looks like a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of the village. It was a very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and cast them out with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned the knights, his knights, the knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. the monster from that book what the hell or back on the bike kill me <laughs> come on kill me cool fairy tale monster is eating everyone coolest Fairy tale I've seen read in my life. Oh. oh, it's a sleeping. Nice. He's taking a nap, don't make a noise. Oh, Cleaver. Is this a key item or is this for the... Epic. Yeah, I think also get another item, you combine it and you can do... That's how you solve the puzzle. Let's do a fire, brother. You know, I'm gonna be a party pooper and say, I want to save and live. I have something to do, sadly. Weird instances, I need to fuck off, but I need a save point. And not die in the way of the, in the, way of the save point. But yeah, God. God for beat man when it's early. So where's the save point? Oh shit. Ow. Okay, you're blue. We like blue health. Dude! So I hate the knockdown animation. It feels like I hate the game with everything I'm saying. But they, when Heather is down, she's just there. Wait, I be here already. This is... I'm a Domas. There's nothing here. Well, I see the save point, so I'm gonna be a bit and save and live. I don't even know what the thing is. It's a creatura. Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit and live. I think I have something to do, sadly. I mean, that means this, this game ends tomorrow, guaranteed, so that's nice, I guess. Epic! Okay, um... Yeah, I'm sorry. Usually I stream, like, longer nights will be, but, you know... Duty calls, sadly. And that's how it is. That's the destiny, sadly. So... Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Out of nowhere freezing the stream, I apologize.
but you know. I want to play Silent Hill game, but it cannot be. I guess tomorrow, unless something happens tomorrow. I get hit by lightning. A day, thanks for watching. Thanks for... Don't already, yeah. Do I need to do something? I apologize. I'm really sorry. Something came out real quick. So I apologize. I guess tomorrow is... I mean, tomorrow is finishing the game, so that's gonna be a longer. So I'm sorry. I truly apologize. Hit by lightning. I mean, we'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry because back in my day, I streamed for four hours and that's it. <laughs> Maybe even less. Back in my days, it was 1.30. My first ever streams with the Yakuza 1 and the No Crisis 1 and Yakuza 2, it was 1.30 and that's it. <laughs> anyway, who gives a single fuck? I'm out. Thanks for watching, boys. I'm sorry for living out of nowhere, all of a sudden, but as I said, I have something to do. So, I apologize. So, take care, okay? Enjoy the rest of your day or whatever you need to do. Thanks for watching. Be cool dudes. And... Yeah, I'm sorry once again. Like, take care now, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh.